everyone, it is Blue Cards Ever here, and today I am with Kenneth from the gang Tidal Wave. He had literally just joined Tidal Wave this day, which is March 8th of 2015. Today, Tidal Wave he was doing some more gang sparring, or just some fun. He decided to join alongside with us, and he had requested if I were to um, take a tour around his house. So I said, sure, why not? In fact, I mentioned this later on in the video, but I might even make this into a new series where I go around examining other people's houses. Now, I'm not exactly going to critique them or anything. I might probably add just a few pointers here and there. But other than that, not really. I'm just going to basically just go ahead and just watch some, uh, just take a nice look around the houses. So, here we are in Kenneth's house. I'm not sure how much longer I managed to stay outside. Okay, well, so much for the outside uh, observations. Uh, I guess now I just have to move on to interior. So much for that. Anyways, this is the inside of Kenneth's house. As you can clearly see here, it is quite detailed. For, you know, such small restrictions. It's a nice touch that he adds to some of the locations inside the house. And he li and I, I like the fact that he takes up a lot of minimal spaces. So you may have noticed that there are like very small like square spaces and he still manages to utilize that kind of space which is good. Doing something like that for a house makes a house look a lot more detailed and it it um how should I say it, it encourages um, visitors to know that you utilize every space that you can. Which of course isn't a good impression to have. So what do we got here? We can clearly see that as soon as you step in, you have a damage tester, a soda machine, and a nice little horse to ride on. According, uh, according to what I said, it has the potential to teleport. In addition, you also have a nice little dance uh, studio right here. Looks nice. It's very small, but then again, the house is small, so you gotta keep things in a certain ratio. I like this whole bar right here. It's very detailed. I like the, the little wine bottles and the plate. And with the new item frame, I think what it's called. I'm not sure what exactly it's called, but he managed to put a knife right, a knife right there. It looks pretty nice, as well as a little lamp. And once again, you can see he's using wooden boxes for a lot of the rectangular uh, locations in his house. This is his profile, by the way. You can clearly see he's a sparrow. However, he's quite different from the average sparrow. You see, I myself, when I think of a sparrow, I think of someone who's kind of arrogant, a bit mean sometimes. Not all, not all the spars, of course. Like Kenneth himself, he's not like one of those. He's, he's very kind. He's respectful. He's reserved. And I like that about him. It's a good trait to have. But moving on, you can see that he's once again using wooden boxes right next to the um, the bookshelf. You can see he's using a wooden box in order to place a lava lamp upon there, and next to the refrigerator behind the bar, you can see he's using a water box to put a radio there. Uh, I do believe I tried grabbing the radio, you can't exactly get to that, that's fine. I mean, it does get kind of annoying when you have someone who's swapping through songs every five seconds. I didn't mention this in the video, but the house looks very kind of throughout some details of the house looks very real. Like if you were to go to an actual house in real life, certain things would look like they would actually be there if it was an actual house in real life. Maybe some things are a bit over exaggerated, like you know, like the pool, but then again that's by default, the bar. Not every say house has a bar, but if a house were to have one, it would it would go well with it. You know, it looks realistic. I like the way how the TV is placed, it fits almost perfectly along with the wall, that's a very good sign. And also see, I like the fact that he also kept the house open. The hole uh, to the upper left with a bed and the chest and the um, guitar cases, I also like that as well, it looks nice. Once again, just another use of, of utilizing small space, you know, take up as much as you can. Yeah. 
yeah, you could see I was doing some gang spar earlier. However, most of the people had logged off, and I was too busy doing this, so unfortunately, I did not get a chance to gang spar again. Sorry. I feel like the bathroom needs a little bit more of a divider towards it. Not that it really matters too much. I just feel like, you know, just add this a little bit, just a divider, and that would look nice. Now, I don't know how a divider would actually look at this angle, though, because I know a lot of times if you add a divider, it looks off almost, I should say. Like, it just looks like it just doesn't fit at all. So maybe that's why he did that. <clears throat> yeah, I can see what he means by not in the best location. I mean, kind of weird to just have, like, whatever the heck you cook dinner, and then all the time to walk from here to there. Then again, a house doesn't have to be um, on point real uh, realistic. You can have ma uh, make it however way you want it. <coughs> I don't know why my thought feels weird. There's a nice little turntable here. I don't exactly. I always have a problem with the turntable. I always notice, like, for some reason, it's like I just can't get it to work sometimes. I think it's because I have the music off. But yeah, all in all, I wouldn't mind having a house like Kenneth's. I feel like I feel like the out the inside just needs just a few touch ups, just a few like just minor details. Not you don't need to really exactly even include them, to be honest. <clears throat> I mean the house looks fine. The interior of the house looks fine enough as it is. There could be a few um. Small touches add into the X here of the house. I'm not sure exactly what, because I'm not really exactly all that, all that fond of the furniture uh, available in the game. But, you know, maybe just some small stuff like that will look really nice outside. As I say, I don't really know what exactly to really include out there, except for the fact that most of the space that is in the X here of the house is, well, water. So, you'll have to get pretty creative for that. <clears throat> Regardless, to finish it off, I really like the work done here. Please don't use rude words. Are you kidding me? Wow. To finish off, I really like the work you done here. There we go. I swear, Grail really needs to fix this stupid filter. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, post recording, which means uh, I'm recording my voice after the video is already completed. So I'm basically just reading over what I said, and for some reason, which switch automatically to "Please don't use rude words." I'll probably also have—that's incorrect English. Wow, <laughs> have a voiceover while I edit this. I'll probably also. I'm not sure. I don't think that's correct English of mine. That's a bad feature on my part. <laughs> there you see, Kenneth is nice. I, I like Kevin's personality. Did I just say Kenny or Kenneth? <laughs> I can't even tell myself. I have to look back to the video. I'll probably even make a voiceover. If I did make it, actually it said Kenny, I might just make him another voiceover and include the word Kenneth. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, he also watched my videos. Thank you so much, by the way. And speaking of thank yous, I only have one minute to finish this up, so I gotta be quick. <laughs> I have reached 800 subscribers. I nearly said 800,000. That was way too much. <laughs> but, all in all, thank you guys so much for supporting me, despite my procrastination in all different ways, such as in videos in general, and especially noob days. I get that all the time, and it pisses me off. Because <laughs> I know I could do it, but it's just, I procrastinate so much. For some reason, I feel like I'm struggling too much with, um, with noob days almost to a point where it's like almost uninteresting to me anymore. I know a lot of people like it because I, when I first started, I even liked the concept myself. But I don't know why. There's something about it where it's just troublesome for me. I promise I will try my best to get back into it. I really will. 
Alright, so I have about 20 seconds left. That's really all I wanted to include. Thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers. I honestly did not even expect myself to get this high of a number. Or even that close to a thousand. Am I really expecting a thousand? Yes, I really am. Thank you so much. This YouTube channel would have not have been so successful if it wasn't for the support of you guys. I love each and every one of you and I thank you so much for being with me all this way. I cannot even begin to thank you guys for all that you have done for this channel. Thank you once again and have an amazing day everyone.